Hey everybody, this is Retro. You're back with me for Pokemon Yellow episode. I think it's episode 10. I'm not too sure about the numbers and stuff, but hey everybody. Welcome back. We are going to be doing some Pokemon stuff in this episode. Uh, so stay tuned because it's definitely going to be a blast, okay? Shout out to you guys. We are finally going to get the move fights or the fly soon, which will let us fly if one of our Pokemon has a bird wings and all those things. Then it'll be able to fly. So we're going to be accomplishing such in this episode, believe it. Okay. And I think we get a new partner at the end of this episode or halfway through, who knows? We'll see. Uh, but Poison Face is taking some barbs at the other Pokemon, gaining himself 231 experience points. Now he is facing down himself with another name. Nidorino against Poison Face is a battle of the year, my friends. Now here we are with 454 experience points. Oh my goodness, we must be the coolest in the world. And nobody can doubt it. Woohoo, everybody. Hey, check out this uh, drowsy here. That drowsy thing looks pretty cool, dude. I think it would look cooler if I could put it in a Pokeball and take it. So let's try to do that, people. We're going to whip a Pokeball at it and hope that we can just captive... Get this captive drow drowsy, his name is? Drowsy. Sounds French. Do I want to give a nickname to it? No, I'll do that later. Okay, so here we're going to go through the dang thing. Hey, no we're not. This guy says, Fwahaha, I never lost. Well, guess what? You're gonna lose today, buddy. Uh, so he gives a Voltor about here. And we'll just attack it with Poison Face. And he will, you know, obviously destroy the stupid Voltor looking like a Pokeball in the first place. He'll look just like a bald Pokeball. Hey, I think the trainer and the Pokemon are bald. Because none of them have hair. Look, even this one don't have hair. Magnemite? It has a screw through its head, but no hair to be seen or said. In other words, ladies and gentlemen... Bald people in Pokemon, they despise a Pokemon with a bit of hair on their head. See, look at that guy. He, he looks like he's angry. But we're not, because we're cooler than, you know. Hey, I feel bad to bald people. If there's anyone who's bald who's watching this, I'm sorry. I really apologize, because I, I didn't think of it until now. But, you know, I hope nobody goes bald when they get older, okay? Uh, this guy's trying to trade us for Pokemons. I don't care. Uh, this guy said, if you cut 30 Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an item finder. Well, I didn't. So I don't want your item finder, thanks anyways. Uh, we'll be going back where we came from. There was a Snorlax in the way of us. My goodness, what shall we do? We're in a calamity, my people. No, we're not. We shall consult the, the town map. And it'll hopefully get us out of this calamitous situation. Oh, indeed. Careful. I'm laying down, he said. Uh, I didn't walk anywhere near you, dude. And his Magnemite it had a screw through its head, but not a bit of hair on his head. Not even a tiny bit of hair. But people, in other news, we have the Diglett Tunnel here. And Diglets look like someone just dropped a bag of hot dogs on the ground in the middle of a cave. And they, they look like they grew faces and just, you know, started looking around. Uh, they look like hot dogs, dude. But yo, we don't need those hot dog Pokemon. They look like you could cook them at a campfire and stuff. I don't want a Pokemon that looks like you could serve it at a campfire. So, we're not going to have it. We're not gonna take it, said this one band in the 1980s who sucked. But yo, there's this Pokemon that looks like a freaking, uh, you know, hot dog. And it, it keeps attacking us. We're going to leave this cave of hot dogs. Hot dog cave. Uh, it should be called hot dog cave here. We're going to cut through this stupid little uh, tree here. 
but not by checking the town map. I don't know why I did that. Okay, everybody, we're going to be cutting through it with Easy E, our gangster guy. He's helping us break through stuff. Uh, you know, descent. So we're gonna, uh, what is this? Is this a city that's frickin' Brock's gym? What have we done, people? We are like, you know, hey, we gotta go to a, what do you call it? That's the thing. Oh, I know what it is. We gotta find this place called, uh, what's it called? I'm not, you know, I halfway know where we're supposed to go is my point, everybody. Like, I kinda know. I have, like, one-third of a idea about it. Trust me. Okay, we're going to go through this stupid cave here. Because I guess we're, you know, walking through caves all this episode. I'm gonna name this one Caves. Curse of the Caves, or something like that. Because we're going through this cave here. Not a hot dog cave. This one here is the uh, one we went through already once. But we have to go through it in order to, you know, circumnavigate the dang thing. You don't, you know? Okay. So, we gotta go to, you know, Cerulean City. I think it's called. I hope you guys are still watching. Uh, I hope I didn't annoy you away yet. Uh, so shout out to everybody who's actually watching still. You guys are the real, like, cool people more than anybody else, you know. Not even PewDiePie and or uh, Mumbo Jumbo could ever say, Oh, I'm the coolest, coolest, cool. Because they don't even talk to their fans, dude. It's like, you know, at least have some respect. But, uh, hey, who cares? Those YouTubers, I don't care. But I think you should watch me, not them. You know what I mean? So here we go. I'm coming for their spot. That's all. Tell them uh, someone's coming for their spot and trying to take it from them. Because I'm cooler and, you know, my fans are cooler than their fans are. If you go to one of their videos like Mumbo Jumbo, uh, all you see is like a hundred thousand sycophants who say like, Oh, thank you so much. Oh, uh, Mumbo Jumbo, I love you. And that's what they say. And he doesn't even reply. Uh, what a pathetic person. But hey, w anyways, what are, we, what are we doing again? My bad, I was, you know, just thinking out loud, everybody. But uh, because, you know, it's a shame when they let it get to their head like that. For me, that'll never happen. But yo, we got a, we got this Poke Center here. Then we got one more cave, my people. One more freaking cave. And I think we're gonna save that cave. That rhymed. We're gonna save that cave for next episode. Because, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I've had enough of cave-dwelling nonsense in this game of Pokemon, you know what I mean? And let's hope this woman is gonna battle us, are you kidding me? Well, hey, after she battles us, then we are going to uh, end the damn thing. Junior trainer woman sends out Jigglypuff. Uh, yeah, that's good. I'm sure she did. Uh, but Jiggle, you know, something. Okay, she disabled our, our move or whatever. And, uh, keeps trying to use disable. I don't know if she's, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer's kid or what. Just kidding. Yo, everybody. Uh, we're gonna destroy her Pokemon easy peasy lemon squeezing up out of a Pikachu. Because he has a thunderbolt or lightning bolt on his tail and stuff. Oh, she has another Pokemon, Clefairy. That looks like, uh, the guy who runs my country. Just kidding. Okay. So, here we go, everybody. We're just gonna destroy that Clefairy with a horn attack. Uh, if only the same could be done for the other guy. Okay, everybody, this is episode... Uh, I'm gonna have to say peace now because the episode's over. So peace, everybody, and I'll be back very soon with you fine folk. And I'm starting a uh, Brilliant Diamond Let's Play, too.